Hello, this is Andrew from Collider Learning. Today's book is The Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu, translation by Stephen Mitchell. If you like my work, please like it, subscribe to this channel, check the playlists, and support me on Patreon and PayPal. The links to Patreon and PayPal are included in the description to this video. First, I'll describe the contents of the book, talk about what's interesting about it, then I'll move on to what you can get out of this book. The Tao Te Ching is a classic Chinese philosophy book written in the 4th century BCE. It is credited to the sage Lao Tzu, though the text's authorship and date of composition is debated. It is a collection of very short, almost poem-like chapters. It is one of the most translated texts in world literature. It, along with the Zhuangzi, is a fundamental text for both philosophical and religious Taoism. It also strongly influenced other schools of Chinese philosophy and religion, including Confucianism and Chinese Buddhism. Many artists, including poets, painters, calligraphers, and gardeners, have used the Tao Te Ching as a source of inspiration. So what does Taoism seek? Taoism seeks harmony by freeing the individual from the bad effects of judgmental thinking, desire, and greed, and at the center is the concept of non-action, or literally doing not doing. Non-action is not the act of doing nothing, but instead it's the purest form of action. The game plays the game. The poem writes the poem. We can't tell the dancer from the dance. This is called Wu Wei, living in perfect harmony with the way things truly are. So Da De Jing is also about flow, the psychology of opt optimal experience. I will cover flow in a separate video. How does one proceed to get closer to harmony of mind? You do this by letting go and non-attachment to all concepts, judgments, and desires. You free yourself from the ego and by doing so, you can understand objective reality better and deal with the many questions of life. For me, the Tao was highly profound and impacted my perspective towards my own happiness and how I interact with others. This text is a guide to finding real happiness and fulfillment in your life. It is a text that empowers you, humbles you, and leads you around the pitfalls that so many people fall in throughout their lives. The Tao is a fundamental, deep, and moving look at what makes a fulfilling life. I first read the Tao Te Ching in college. At that time, I found parts of it intriguing, but a lot of it felt rather nonsensical to me. I was only 19 years old at the time, and I was more narrow-minded and immature in my thinking. I couldn't appreciate the book to its fullest degree. It was elusive and mysterious. However, when I was 30, I developed a deep interest in psychology, Buddhism, Stoicism, and philosophy, and I reread it, discovering more. After a lot of education and reflection in these areas, I read it again and again and discovered more and more. It was only in recent years that even more study and reflection that the Tao Te Ching really clicked for me. I started to understand his genius. The teachings in the book have a timeless and therapeutic quality. The wisdom sayings have a lot of overlap with Buddhism, but the real power of the book is that you read it in one sitting, or listen to it in one sitting. My preferred method is to do the Gaudi book while walking outside. In particular, I do it when I feel anxious and really stressed, or I'm angry or sad. When I listen to this text combined with outdoors walking in less than two hours, it's like I'm a new man. So why does it work? It tends to stimulate a chain of highly reflective thoughts, and I really center in objective reality. So my bad mood reduces a lot, and I let go of a lot of negative emotions. As a consequence, I get more objective and relaxed in my thinking, and I cool down. The key thing is letting go. It is easy to talk about letting go, but to do so requires conscious mental effort. This text makes the process streamlined and reliable. I hope this advice helps many of you. So as a consequence, I listened to the Tao Te Ching many times. The only other text that has this powerful of an effect is the Dhammapada by Siddhartha Gautama, the Buddha. I will cover this in a separate video. As for versions of the text, I recommend the Tao Te Ching, translated by Stephen Mitchell. I choose this because this one is written in plain American English, 
and directed toward the Western mind. It is not academic or directed toward a Chinese audience, which helps makes the text more useful for my purposes. It is clearly rooted in, in and managed to maintain a spiritual and philosophical truth while staying accessible to readers used to reading, reading English prose and contemporary poetry. If you're new to the Tao or you're looking for a version that's easy to pick up and occasionally and revisit, this is a really excellent option. I rate the Tao Te Ching a 6 out of 5 stars, one of the greatest of all time. So that's what I think of the Tao Te Ching. Please put your thoughts and ideas in the comment section. They always make a great conversation. I hope you find my review to be informative. Thanks for watching.